All right, so those are the uh, billet HID adjuster screws from uh, Euro Image Tuning, which I finally got after a long delay. And thought I'd make a little video to show you why these don't work on our Volks Tuning HID replicas. Um, I guess the first thing, it's going to be hard to do this with, I'll set the camera down. So, the first flaw is this set screw right here. That's screwed in all the way. That's as far as it'll go. And you can see it doesn't really set anything. You can look in here and you can see it's not even close to coming through the hole. So, the first thing I had to do to make these moderately usable was ditch that. And I went and got a new one. A little longer that will protrude into there so that was a minor thing just a should have been fixed by them I think they're aware of it and they still haven't fixed it but uh, they haven't so first reason why these don't work here's the the uh, vertical adjuster Alright, so that goes in this way into that slot, pushes back. And the only good thing about these Euro Image ones is, is you don't need to put them in from the front, you can put them in from the back. So, let's see. You just kind of slam it, slam it in there. Actually, it's the wrong way. There. It's in. Alright, so that's in there. The adjuster's in on the other side. And let's go ahead and. Oh, here's the. Uh, this is the main problem here, this little clip that goes on here. Let's go ahead and put that on. Slide the bolt in, and it actually goes into the adjuster fairly well. All right, you can see you probably can, but it's going in and it's pulling that adjuster back. So when it's tight, that's the le length of its uh, travel. That's as high as the beam's going to get. Um, at this point, you would go ahead and do the set screw here to make sure it doesn't come out. And you can see when you rotate it now, the set screw moves with it. And it doesn't pull out, doesn't push in, it's good and tight. If you want to use it like that, cool. The problem is, if you don't want it at the end of its travel there, let's go ahead and back it off a little bit. See how it's coming out this way? There's room right here. Alright, so if you take it, you can push it in actually. Adjust it some more out. Push it in. Alright. So let's say that's where you want to keep your lights. So go ahead and hit the set screw. All right, cool, that's how it should be, right? Well, the problem is this little clip right here that prevents the stock bolt from going back in isn't secured this way. It's only secured this way. So you can actually go inside, push this adjuster back out and you can see the whole unit moves there. You can push that back in, go inside, push it back out. It's not secured with anything in there. Um, so that's that again is at the height of its beam travel. Push it in, go inside, push it out. It's just not secure. The only thing you could do to fix this is to take this little clip, and you can see on this side, you can see how it just slides on and off of there. That's where the problem is. 
um, it, it doesn't go up. So what you could do is you could glue this clip in place, you know, here, here, on the other side to prevent it from moving. And then that way it won't slip backwards like that. If we take this out, let me unscrew this. The only problem with doing that is if you glue it, you can't get it off again. And if this ends up failing or if you don't want to use this anymore, you have to take this off to put this in, which is the bullshit plastic garbage one. All right, so let me get rid of this. And the, one of the faults here is this little barrel piece that you insert. Let me get the adjuster out of here. You can see on the stock one, there's a lip right here under the O-ring that's wider than the opening up here of the the hole right there and you can't really see it from the video but there is a lip right there that this edge catches on and prevents prevents the screw from going back any further which is what we're seeing with the billet one and you can see with this it's smooth there's no lip you can actually take the set screw out you put it in the front here. Comes out that way. Put it in the back. Comes out that way. There's nothing holding that in. And that's a design flaw on your image tuning's part. There should have been a little lip right here. Should have been a lip machined right here to catch on that edge inside. To match the diameter of this thing so the, the deal with these and here's the stock one you can see you can push it in it goes in all all the way you can't push it out the back which is why you have to take the whole thing apart to replace it you can see that it's uh it's there now and it's got this another little lip right here that the groove another groove right here that the uh, edge on this clips into and that's what prevents it from going back into the housing so it's a shitty design but um, I think it's gonna work better than the built one unless you glue this clip on here because that clip is the only thing that's keeping this from not going back in and the lip on the inside is the only thing that's keeping it from not coming back out towards the back of the car um, like I said if you choose to glue this on you're stuck with using these and I don't know if I want to be stuck with using those what I'm think would probably be the best bet was to be put this back in put the adjuster back in screw it in all the way to its limits while it's, while it's off the car and you can see in here that it's screwed in all the way and then that way you know not to touch it and you know it'll break if you screw it anymore so that's uh, that's what I've been dealing with and I've got, you know, four of them here. I've got to decide what to do with them. I've got all my parts up here and projectors that I haven't really started on and inserts and all this stuff. So, uh, hopefully I'll get this sorted out shortly and uh, have an update. But that's what, uh, that's what the billet adjusters are and that's why they don't work.